Now the friction wood, as we said, is an awesome color. This part where you see the logo is a sounding board. It vibrates when you strike this side of it over here with a striker. So you really control the tone by how much pressure you put on this board right here. You see, if I hold it right up here close to the top and I make my stroke coming from the edge back to the middle, it'll be a clear yell. With very little rasp. I'm not allowing that board to vibrate very much. But if I hold it like this, there's much more rasp in it. You see that clear area with the chalk right there is football shaped, and that's the shape that I make my stroke. I start it out slow and speed it up as I get into the curve. It's very easy to do. Now to make the purr and the clucks, I hold the striker almost at right angles to the board and I like to do it on the closed edge of the collar, not the open edge of the collar. I like to close the slit with my hand and make a cup with my hand so that I capture every little bit of sound down there next to my body. Our cluck is just one little cluck. Again, I'm keeping this striker in contact with the board. I'm not pulling it up like that. I'm keeping it in contact with the board. You can operate it closed up at the top. That's deadly on the turkey. And it's amazing. how far they can hear. You can use push strokes or pull strokes. If you like to aggravate a sort of purge, you open the end up. There's no end to what you can do with this call. Uh, I'll be back in a moment with some more information about these calls.